What's up everybody and welcome to a new video. Today we are checking in on Girl Defined. I haven't done a video on them in a long time and I thought it was time to see what they were up to. So on first glance I saw a lot of like kind of concerning video titles like is it okay for Christian women to prepare for sex before marriage? And in my head I'm thinking like okay how does one prepare for sex? I don't know, like call me crazy, but I would say like sex ed. But no, this video is all about how the biblical version of Christian marriage should be applied to sex. Um, yeah, it, there is no sex ed involved. Hmm. Then we have, is masturbation an unforgivable sin? And how important is physical attraction in dating? Now I did a video on Girl Defined before, I will link it below, uh, where they talk about how they weren't even attracted to their husbands before getting married. It's real bad and very offensive, um, but we will not talk about that in this video. That was the other video, link below. Then we move to the video I actually wanna talk about today, are married Christian influencers to pro-sex now? I'm just gonna say no, but let's keep going with it. And then right below that, how to avoid anxiety in a romantic relationship. I don't know, girl, maybe by having sex. Anyway, going back to the top, are married Christian influencers to pro-sex now? So apparently there was some issue taken with influencers, YouTubers, like Girl Defined being too pro-sex according to BuzzFeed. Now here's my problem. Do I like Girl Defined? No. Do I like BuzzFeed, who wrote the article about them? No. I've done multiple videos on my problems with BuzzFeed. They've ripped me off multiple times, but I've also expressed my frustrations, to say the least, with Girl Defined. So to me, this is like a lose-lose battle. It's Girl Defined versus BuzzFeed. Who's gonna win? So how this all started was Bethany posted a TikTok. Unfortunately, I can't play the audio because that would be a copyright strike, but um, you can see her husband there putting whipped cream in her mouth and, and, and sprinkles. It's, it's gross, it's gross. But a lot of people took issue with this and I understand why. If you are very traditionally anti anything that has to do with sex and then you post a video of like, oh, he's gonna squirt whipped cream in my mouth, like then people might wonder why and people might call it hypocritical. So we're gonna get into this BuzzFeed article calling out Girl Defined after I remind you guys to check out Adam and Eve. That is right, this video, of course it is. This is the perfect video to talk about <laughs> my Adam and Eve sponsor. If you go to adamandeve.com and use my name, Jacqueline, J-A-C-L-Y-N as a code at checkout, you will get 50% off any one item and free shipping, which is a sweet deal. So please check out the video I linked below. I unboxed a lot of really cool things that they sent me. It was super fun. One of my favorite unboxings I have done this far. So click that link, check it out, go to Adam and Eve, use my code, get your discount. And uh, maybe if you are actually willing to explore your sexuality in a healthy way, you will not have to um, be influenced by the pressures of Girl Defined to not enjoy sex ever outside of marriage. What do I mean? Well, let's go to Buzzfeed, unfortunately. Scrolling down, now sex. What happens to Christian influencers when they get married? A dramatic reading. A blonde woman opens her mouth, very sexual, and looks up at her equally blonde husband. I don't, I don't really understand why that's necessary, but okay. He sprays a tall swirl of whipped cream into her mouth and sprinkles chocolate chips on top. And then he takes a bite of this creamy concoction and the couple perform a brief out of sync <laughs> out of sync. Dance break to Taylor Swift's ready for it before sharing a closed mouth kiss. So hot, so sensual. Her caption was we hit teeth so hard. Not sexy. I'm just gonna say that Bethany. You could have left that one out. No, it's just not sexy. <clears throat> the Buzzfeed article reads that there's no shortage of influencer couples doing vaguely sexy gags on the platform, but this post was a striking departure from Beale's former content. For 12 years, she encouraged single people to avoid all sexual content. Now, okay, I will give them this. I feel like this BuzzFeed article is slightly misleading because paints a picture that Girl Defined or many of these other Christian influencers promote this like anti-sex propaganda. And while that may be true for unmarried people, for married people, 
for. At least a lot of them, their tune is very different. They're all about sex positivity when you're married, but if you're unmarried, it is definitely a sin. You are definitely going straight to hell. The hypocrisy in it that I do think is very valid is that I have seen, in Girl Defined videos previously, I have seen them condemn things that just exhibit sexuality. And they do target themselves to young females. Most likely, a lot of these younger women are not married. So if younger women are consuming their overtly sexual content, then why is that different than what they have warned about before? Like they have explicitly said before in videos and many posts that they do not think people should be watching sexual content or even like implied sexual content, that it's not biblical, that it influences the mind in a negative way to lead someone towards temptation, yet you're posting this of someone like squirting whipped cream in your mouth. Like what could, what could one possibly think of when they see that? If you say you don't want anyone to have sexual thoughts or any kind of impurity, but you post that, like, come on, the hypocrisy is there. Maybe not so much to the point that it's okay to be sexually open with your spouse, um, that, that you shouldn't do it before marriage, but like, even outside of that, they have told people not to watch sexual content of all kinds. I've literally never once heard a disclaimer from Girl Defined saying, but it's okay if you watch sexual content of people that are married. Like if the porn is of a married couple, it's fine. If the intense sexual scene in a movie or a film or whatever movie you're watching is of a married couple, it's totally fine. I've never heard them say that. I've always, always heard them say, avoid temptation. Do not watch anything of a sexual nature at all. But like what, now that she's married, it's okay to put that out there? Not that they haven't been consistent because they bring up their shitty book that they wrote. I wish people would pick up this book and actually read what I had to say about sex before I was married. It's not that they haven't been consistent in saying that married people only should have sex. It's that they have been consistent in saying, if you are unmarried, you should not consume, or even married, you should not consume content that in its nature is sexual. and. I'm sorry, but once again, this is exactly that, Bethany. And she even made a response video saying that this article was inaccurate because she's been consistent in saying that married people can have sex. I have been a huge proponent and a huge fan of God's good design for sex. And for us as married, single, any woman in any stage, understanding the purpose of sex, the purpose for intimacy, getting to the bigger reason for why God created it, which is why Kristen and I wrote Sex Purity and the Longings of a Girl's Heart. I'll give her that, but this article is accurate because it says that she's also been consistent in saying you should not consume sexual content, which they outline here. It's not necessarily inconsistent for Christian women who talk about not having sex before marriage to then start talking about sex after marriage, but the change can be jarring for some followers who are used to the influencers pro abstinence messaging. And I totally agree. Don't you cater to young girls? One wrote in the comments, y'all are supposed to be reaching out to single Christian girls? Another added, Bethany, will you at least admit that you and your sister have contributed to the idea that Christians need to appear to be pure in all circumstances? It is fine for you to change your minds. That shows growth and maturity, but you're losing a lot of people with this kind of content after what you've preached about. I really resonate with these comments because like, as I said, I understand that Girl Defined and other Christians have been consistent in saying once you're married, all is good, be sexual, woo. But before that, everything is bad. But it is hypocritical in the sense that you have told people to completely avoid content that is sexual, yet you post something like this. That, that, Bethany, I'm sorry, is where the hypocrisy lies. Beale did not respond to a request for comment from BuzzFeed News about her pivot to sex positivity. I don't know if I would call her sex positive right now, to be honest. Let her do an Adam and Eve unboxing and then, maybe then I'll reconsider. I haven't checked in on Girl Defined in a long time and it's not surprising to me that there's blatant hypocrisy. Now that she's married, it's like all of a sudden okay for her to talk about her sexuality. It's okay for her to talk about it. 
and for people to consume her content, but nobody else's. Otherwise, it's a sin. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below if you agree with me and disagree with me, if uh, you think the Girl Defined is just great, or if you do see a little hypocrisy in them saying, don't consume sexual content unless it's just content that I make, then that's fine. Like this video if you liked it, share it everywhere, subscribe if you have not subscribed already. And if you guys like my tank top, this is new merch on our store, ffvmerch.com. Check it out if you wanna get this. I particularly love having my husband on my chest. And speaking of my husband, he is currently on tour. So if you wanna go see him on tour, I will link his tickets in the description below. Check it out, I will link the merch, check it out. And if you wanna see more content on Girl Define, please leave a comment and let me know. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, bye.